Monday, January 8, 2024. The Baptism of the Lord. First reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord. Here is my servant whom I uphold. My chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting. Not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand, I formed you, and set you. As a covenant of the people, a light for the nations. To open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement. And from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. O.R. First reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord. All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come, without paying and without cost, drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well, you shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully, listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. As I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations. So shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you. Because of the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found, call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way, and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God, who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth so high are my ways above your ways. And my thoughts above your thoughts, for just as from the heavens. The rain and snow come down and do not return there. Till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful. Giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will. Achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. O.R. First reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation whoever fears him and acts uprightly. Is acceptable to him you know the word that he sent to the Israelites. As he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism. That John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. With the Holy Spirit and power, he went about doing good. And healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. O.R. First reading. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by Him. In this way we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and obey His commandments, for the love of God is this. That we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies. And the Spirit is truth, so there are three that testify. The Spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now the testimony of God is this, that he has testified on behalf of his Son. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord, you sons of God, give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. Response. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the Lord, over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty, the voice of the Lord is majestic. Response. The Lord will bless his people with peace.
the God of glory thunders, and in his temple all say, Glory. The Lord is enthroned above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. Response. The Lord will bless his people with peace. O.R. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation.